When we run into problems using SOLIDWORKS, it's very common for technical support to request you send them an Rx file. This is a troubleshooting tool that technical support can use to help investigate the issue that you're facing. We can find the Rx tool within SOLIDWORKS itself via the task pane, looking for the SOLIDWORKS Rx symbol. Or we can search within the start menu to look for SOLIDWORKS Rx. When we open up the SOLIDWORKS RX tool itself, we have access to lots of different diagnostic, troubleshooting, and system maintenance tools to help clean up our system and ensure top performance of SOLIDWORKS. We can look at some system information of our machine and ensure that we meet performance requirements. We also have access to the SOLIDWORKS knowledge base, which gives us plenty of solutions to help solve very common issues that we run into. We also have access to system maintenance tools It'll clean out certain sections of our machine and ensure we are running at tip-top shape. To create an RX file, we'll focus on the Problem Capture tab. In this tab, when you first open it, it will be gathering system information of your machine, along with some Windows error logs, extended logs, any crash data, and any other important information that can be used to investigate the issue that we're facing with SOLIDWORKS. This may take a minute or two to gather all this information. Once the system information has been gathered, you'll just have to follow three simple steps to create your RX. The first step will be to capture the problem itself. We have the option to record a video and showcase what steps we're doing to create the problem or to just show a visual representation of the issue we're facing. If we don't have SOLIDWORKS open, it will open an instance for us and then to start creating a video, we'll just have to select Start Recording. We can then browse to the file that we need to open to showcase the issue we're facing. We can then perform the action that's causing the issue, or just try to explain as best we can through using the software what steps we're taking that is causing the problem. When we're finished creating our video, we can just click Finish Recording. The SOLIDWORKS RX tool will indicate to you that it has to close SOLIDWORKS to finish this process. It will then take you back to the RX tool and show a green check mark under step 1 to indicate that we've completed the first step. Step 2 will be to package all those files that were created into a manageable zip folder. We can also include the SOLIDWORKS files that we are working with such as parts, assemblies, and drawings for testing and investigation. You can then save that zip file to a safe location, and once that's done, it'll show a green check mark for step two. Now on to step three. This is the final step for creating your RX. You'll just have to fill out some simple contact information, select an area and sub area that relates to the issue that you're facing, and then try to add as much detail as you can to help explain what problem you are facing and what you have tried so far to solve the problem. One thing to note is that the RX tool will gather information such as your serial number, so be sure not to send this RX file to anyone outside of your organization or only to technical support at your VAR. Once the summary and description are filled in, you also have the option to look in the knowledge base again for any information on trying to solve the issue, and then we'll have to select an impact level. The I information mark will give you some tips on what level to select for your impact, and then you'll have to type in a reason for what impact level you chose, depending on how it is affecting your workflow. Once you've completed step three, you'll see a window stating that the problem capture has been completed. You can then send this zip file to your technical support at your VAR, and they can investigate it to help solve the problem.